Angeles, Penn State fans gathered at local bars and restaurants to watch that game versus Nebraska. And as NBC4's Andy Adler reports tonight, there was, understandably, a lot of mixed emotions. It was Penn State taking on Nebraska today, and as you can imagine, there was a lot more at stake. We had a chance to catch up with Penn State alumni, talk a little Paterno, and exactly what this game really means. Football can bring a lot of emotion, but today, the faces told a different story. It's not about winning or losing, it's about taking a first step in healing, and that's why we're here today. Dozens of Penn State alum gathered at different bars all over Southern California, they do this every week, but today, Penn State played without their legendary coach. These players on the team today, they, they had nothing to do with this, and, and, and you know, it's going to be an incredibly tough week for them. You know, they, they, you know, many of them probably came to Penn State to play football because of Joe Paterno, and he's not there with them today. Joe Paterno fired in the wake of a sex abuse scandal and questions about whether he covered up details to protect the man accused, longtime assistant Jerry Sandusky. I didn't want to watch the game. It was hard to be proud of Penn State, but I am proud of the university and I'm proud of the institution. Penn State lost this one 17-14. No Paterno proved to be a problem on the field, but the problems off the field remain the focus. We just have to find a way to, to get past this and do something positive. And start healing. I'm Andy Adler, NBC4 News.